Okay, so I've got my Dreamcast hooked up to the monitor here, and I've got the SD card reader plugged in, and I've got Dreamshell SD loader in the drive. I've also got the keyboard here, and the controller. So we'll just fire this up, and it should get the Dreamcast logo, startup logo, as normal. And this should start flashing. Well, we've already got the, the Dream Shell logo appearing. You see the wee LED? It's loading. Initializing Dream Shell Core. It's the Dream Shell startup logo. And there you've got your, your main window. So if I use the analog stick on the controller here, get some options here. So I can go to the console, SD, DC, SD, RIP, or file manager. Quickly, I'll have a look at the console. So I'll bring up this screen here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It won't be in focus, but if I type in help on the keyboard, it'll give me a list of all the various commands and whatnot. So I'll hit escape and it'll take me back to the main menu. Now for the good stuff where you go and have a look at the SD card. So click on that and it will load. And there we've got your basically you've got your file manager. So you've got SD card, VMU, CD, RAM and PTY. So we'll go down to SD card. It's quite difficult to do this one hand. We'll click on that. And there I've got some files that I've got on my card. So what I'll do is I'll try and run the I think it's Mad Mario or something it's called. Uh, Evil Mario, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll try this. It'll give me that screen there. Do I want to run the ISO? I think it's easier just to run it from here. There's just a really, really rough piece of software, rough beta software uh, dream shell so it's graphically it's all over the place uh, it can be quite difficult to choose things in the menu but I'll just double click that again see if that works and it is loading as you can see from the memory card and there you go Super Mario War that's what it's called I forgot so just give this a minute to load up Volume up. You can see it's loading up at the corner there. You can actually take this off now, don't need it. And any key to continue. So play a game of this. Prepare to fight! So this is just like some Dreamcast homebrew. Uh, difficult one handed. No, that's not going to work. Uh, it's impossible to play this one handed. But you get the idea. You can play your homebrew and you can run it from the the memory card. So I can kill myself here. There we go. So next thing I'll show you is the Dreamcast running a an app that will let you basically rip a game from your, your drive here onto the, the memory card. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly reboot the, the system. And I'll show you that working. Okay, so I've rebooted the, the Dreamcast here and I'm back at the, the menu, the file ma manager screen. What I'm going to do is boot up the, the app that allows you to rip games from your, your drive here onto the, the memory card. So what I, was, what I will say is a lot of the, the homebrew and games, you can, you can run retail games from the memory card, but you need to patch them 
um, a lot of them don't really work too well basically just because of the I don't think the, the data transfer rate through the, the serial port is high enough to to play a lot of the, the Dreamcast games it's obviously not as fast as the uh, the drive here so a lot of the games won't actually play homebrew lot, a lot of that should be should be fine to play from the memory card I think there's one or two well, there's actually more than one or two retail games that will boot from the, the memory card but it's just something to, to keep in mind if you're going to do this mod it's not going to be basically every game is going to run from the, the memory card and the Dreamshell software I don't think it's been updated or worked on for a, a while, over a year I think even, maybe, almost a year is the last time I had an update, so I don't even know if the, the developers are developing for it anymore but it's still something fun to, to mess around with so I'll just double click this here and it should bring me to this here so I can choose what I want to do, I can rip the GD-ROM so I think I'll just do one track so if I hit that there, it'll tell me to set GD-ROM disk and hit A. Ah, okay, so what I need to do is let's take this off here and put a retail game in. So I've got Millennium Soldier here. I'll try and get that back on here. Just put this down a second. drive mechanism sorted. So there we go, it's running there. Okay. And there we can choose what we want to rip. So choose that. Select SD card A. Well it's telling me there's not enough room on the the card for some reason. But you get the idea. Um so you can basically rip your your game here onto the, the memory card. And maybe if I unplug this in a second. That'll work. No. Tell me there's not enough space. But there you go, you get the idea. Um yeah, really good mod to try out if you're interested. Uh, as I say it's pretty easy. Hardest part is soldering onto the the Dreamcast motherboard. But I'm going to finish this mod off and put the, the reader on the side here. And I'll probably do another video for that. But until then, uh, thanks for watching.